In this video, we're going to cover how to perform a firmware upgrade in a Hirschman switch. Here in my desktop, I have my laptop with the address 192.168.1.123 right here. And I also have a RSP switch as 192.168.1.1 and they're both connected by a copper cable. So in order to perform a firmware upgrade, we will basically do it in three steps. For step one, we'll need to download the firmware image that we are going to upload to the switch. To do this, just open a web browser and we will access the FTP link where we can find all the images and software tools that the factory releases. Let's access this link right here latest version and then we'll access the iNet folder and firmware and basically for all switches we will have it either under the iOS folder or the classic folder. For the iOS we have some families here that uses the iOS newest firmware and I already know that the RSPE and the Greyhounds are here so if your switch is not here just go back and try to find it under the classic folder. Let's go download the latest firmware version for the RSP, which is the iOS version 7. So I'll click right here, but I already have it in my desktop. You'll have a zip file, and after you unzip it, basically you will have two folders. One for the MIPS and one for the software. If we check the MIP folder, we'll see that all the MIP files for a, an eventual integration with an SNP are available. Okay, so let's take a look at the software folder. Specifically for the RSPE, we have different versions of firmware. This happens because the RSPE has features such as the PRP and HSR, which are selected via firmware upgrade. So in this example, don't worry about it. Let's just use the iOS RSP 07000.bin. Okay, so this is step one. We already have our file. And in the step two, we are going to uh, load the file into the switch. In order to do this, let's access the web interface of the switch. So I'll type the IP address here. Okay, continue. And once in the web interface, we will Go on basic settings and software. In this menu, we just click on the triple dot button and select the file that we separated on step one. Choose spin file. And then just click on update. As you can see now the switch is downloading the file to its memory. This may take from two to three minutes. So now that the switch has loaded the firmware into its memory, let's take a look at these fields right here to understand a little bit what happened. So we have the stored version, which is the place in memory where we have the firmware version installed. And we also have the running version, which is the firmware that's actually running, and the backup version, which is another place in memory. So what happened here is that when I click reload, the stored version comes into the backup and the new stored version is the firmware that we just loaded in the step 2. So when we perform the update button here, we loaded the iOS 7 into the stored version but the running version is still the, the older one. And now we come into the step 3 which is restart the equipment. And cold start here, click yes to save the configuration and boot the device. Okay, so now the device booted again, we can just access its graphical user interface. And as you can see, it already booted with the 
view firmware. So iOS 7 is running, just access. And in the newest version, the iOS 7, you can see the graphical user interface changed a lot, but the menus basically, they stay the same. So let's come here on software and see that now we have the running version as iOS 7. And that's it. We performed the firmware upgrade if we wanted to, for some reason, just roll back to the previous version, we just click Restore here, which will swap the backup version with the stored version. So next time you start the equipment, it will boot with the HiOS 6.1.14 again. So let me just put it back, because I want to stay with the HiOS 7. And that's it. So in case you have multiple devices to perform the firmware upgrade, there is an easier way to do this instead of entering one by one. So if you have the industrial high vision, you can just select uh, all your devices in control and then you hit control M, which will pull the multi-config window. And with the multi-config, we can just click on software here and perform the step two with the same firmware version that we loaded for one device. So we could click on the triple dots here and select, I don't know, another firmware version. When you click on right here, then it will perform the step two in multiple devices and then you'll just have to control M again and reboot them. And this action will perform the firmware upgrade for all devices at once. And okay, that's it for today's video. I hope you liked it and Thank you for watching, bye!